I'm not saying it's right for you, but there's a chance it could be. The only way you'll know is to stick around and see. Hey, hey, you too. Welcome back to Arabin Outdoors. I'm Arabin, but you knew that, didn't you? Hey, guys, if you're anything like me, when you're thinking about making a new purchase of an item, you like to find out a little bit about it before you buy it. One thing I always do is read reviews, especially on Amazon or if it's a particular manufacturer's website. But one thing that I also always do is go to YouTube and I look for reviews on YouTube about the exact product that I'm going to purchase. Sometimes I have a hard time finding that item. And that's the case with the item I want to review today. I went online before I bought these golf clubs. And I had a hard time finding a lot of videos about them. There are very few at all. So I figured, hey, maybe I can help someone and do a video about it. The golf clubs that I'm talking about are the Top Flight XL 2020 version. So I'm going to go over now in detail the set of clubs, what comes with them, some specs on the clubs, and everything that I think will help you make a decision on whether or not you want to purchase this product. Alright, so let me say first and foremost, before anything else and before you have any misconceptions, I am not a professional golfer. I am nowhere near a professional golfer. I would rate myself on the level of golfing at beginner. I get out once a week and play sometimes nine holes, sometimes 18 holes, depending on the humidity. So I just say that up front to let you know the reason I purchased these clubs. And if you're in this same boat, maybe you can relate. But as a beginner, not thinking I'm going to be playing often and not taking it really seriously. I didn't want to put a lot of money into golf clubs. In fact, some of the people that I play golf with spent more money on just their driver than I spent on this whole golf set. And that's what the Top Flight XL 2020 set is about. It's a, it's a complete set from bags to clubs for the beginner golfer. So come on, let's go over here to the bag. All right, so this is the set. I have taken off the head covers. It did come with a driver and a three wood cover, which so far have held up and been very nice. So I went ahead and took those off so you can actually see the clubs better. And this is the bag. There are different color options. I went with the black and gray camo. And uh, you can see that it is a standing type of bag. And uh, lightweight. But it holds everything that I need it to hold. So let's talk about the bag a little bit. So when you buy the bag... The strap that originally comes with it is one of those uh, double shoulder back strap type of uh, straps and I did not like that. I prefer just a single strap. So I just went with this single strap that I got on Amazon. This is not the original strap that came with it. It does have a nice carry handle here with a heavy heavy nylon and a rubberized give you a good grip for carrying there is here a little area where you can put tees okay down here the front bag this is the ball bag is what they call it the ball pocket I keep my balls in there got me some uh, Callaway chrome soft miscellaneous uh, balls in here and a uh, little ball marker that didn't come with it 
course the balls didn't come with it. I'm just showing you the size of the pocket. Plenty of room for lots of balls and the other items. It's got a double zipper, okay? So you can do it that way and just zip down one side or you can zip down both sides to pull it flap open, all the way open. On the left side is another pocket and you can see it's nice and wide. And in it I have a number of things. Again, these items did not come with the bag. I'm just showing you the size of the pocket and some ideas that you can get in there. I have a little raincoat. I have a uh, first aid kit. I have a little tool here. I have a little tool here. I used to keep this screwed into my putter and you can pick up golf balls but it kept coming unscrewed from the putter but I don't know for some reason I'm keeping it I keep this brush to clean my shoes uh, you know because on the mornings especially when it's dewy you get all kind of grass and stuff up on the side of your shoes and this helps to clean your shoes uh, I have in here iron covers, which I thought would be a good idea, but what I have found is that uh, there's more of a pain in the butt to keep up with. Rather than throw them away or get rid of them, I just keep them in this pocket here in case I ever want to use them. And then I just keep some extra tees and a couple of ball markers there keep all that so that's what I keep inside of the bag here in this one pocket and you can see it's got plenty of room for all of these items and uh, I could even put a few more items in there if I needed to one zipper and you're done there is at the base another carry handle so if you want to use two hands to carry you've got that one and this one in addition to the strap over here there is a d-ring attach attachment on it right now I have some hand sanitizer I have a little carabiner that I will sometimes put my uh, everyday carry emergency kit on that since I do have a trach and it'll have extra trach supplies I attach my glove on there and then I also have attached to that, but zipped into this pocket, one of these uh, club head cleaners. I just don't like to have it dangling around, so I tuck it into the this bigger pocket here when I'm playing and zip it up. But this pocket here is oversized. It's very big, and you can see what I have in there. I'm not going to take them out, but I keep my shoes in there, my golf shoes and extra socks, and there's plenty of room for them. There's also a little zipper bag right here, and inside of it, I will keep, I keep some extra tissues, I keep sunblock, bug spray, and I'll put my keys right there when I play. So... There is also, at the bottom, you can't see, but there's a place for your umbrella to go. And then you do have a, uh, I don't know what you call that. It's just a, it's what holds your umbrella in. So, uh, this is a 42 inch umbrella, or no, I'm sorry, a 62 inch umbrella in case I get stuck in the rain on the cord. Uh, so that's the bag. And uh, for a beginner, plenty of room for everything that you need. I know that was a pretty lengthy section of the video, but hey, I want you to know about everything about this bag because you're considering possibly buying it. But now, let's look at the clubs. All right, so let's talk about the clubs. What clubs are included in this set? Well, here they are. You have a driver. You have a three wood. You have a five, uh, five hybrid and a four hybrid. Six, seven, 
eight, nine, pitching wedge, and putter. Those are the clubs that come with the set. Of course, I've added a sand wedge and a lob wedge, but uh, it comes with, the only wedge that it really comes with is a, a pitching wedge or just a general wedge. All right, so now let's go over the clubs that come with the bag. I, I showed you which clubs come with it, but now I'm going to go over them with you and give you some specs on each one. We're going to start with the driver. You can see right here the, uh, the club head is 460cc um, is the size of it. The design is just plain black on the top. Here's your club head pattern. The three wood as well as this driver have a graphite shaft. It's pretty cool that they put the digital camo pattern with their logo on the driver and the three wood. The loft on the driver is 10.5 degrees and it is 44 and a half inches long. One thing I want to let you know and I'll, I'll show you compared to the three wood which is next is the handle grip. You'll notice this grip just looks solid black. You'll see two little white strings here. Well when I first bought it it looked more like this where you have these little white elastic inlays but after just two rounds of golf all of that white elastic came off and now it's just black and you can see it's already starting to happen on this three wood I don't use the three wood as often so it's not as completely gone as on the driver but just to let you know that's gonna happen so don't let that alarm you it doesn't affect of course the uh, the grip or, or anything like that it's just more of an aesthetics thing I wanted to let you be aware of alright the three wood has a 15 degree loft and it is one inch shorter 43 and a half inches same graphite shaft and like I said the uh, set does include the covers for both of the wood three wood and the driver next let's move down to our hybrids and you can see here you've got your four hybrid you see the design of it there same club face same color as your driver you do have the little arrow on the driver, the wood, and the hybrids to kind of help you with alignment. I think that's pretty handy, especially for me, a beginner. So the hybrids and all of the irons that we're going to be talking about have stainless steel shanks rather than graphite. And again, the same type of grips, so you're going to have that same issue with the grips. The four hybrid is 21 degree loft. Okay, so the loft on this one is 21 degrees and it is 39 and a half inches long. We go next to the five hybrid. You can see there you've got your five hybrid. The loft on the five hybrid is 24 degrees and the length is a half inch shorter at 39 degrees. All right, so now if we move into the irons. Uh, I'll go through all the stats on those for those of you who are into loft and length. I uh, just want to show you first of all, again, they are stainless steel irons. Nice, attractive finish on there if you're, if you're into what your clubs really look like. These are nice, attractive clubs. Clearly marked on the top. So obviously this is your six iron and uh, again stainless steel same grips so same problem with the aesthetics the six iron has a 30 degree loft and it's 37 and one half inches long and I'm, I, you know I guess it's pretty common but what's going to happen with these club links as we go down from six seven eight nine pitching wedge the links are going to go down in half inch increments 
instead of pulling every club out they all look the same as far as the finish and the club face and the shaft and the grips they all look the same again all clearly marked on the top so rather than pulling out every club I'm just gonna go through the stats with them so here we go the sixth iron again is 30 degree loft the seven iron is 33 degree loft the eight iron is 37 degree loft the nine iron is 41 degree loft and the pitching wedge is 45 degree loft so the next club and the last club probably the most important club and the one I need to work on the most is the putter and you can see it has a nice little bit wider not just a round handle but it does have a nice grip there and uh, also stainless steel and you can see it does have the the guidelines there for you which really do help out with lining up the shot for the putt and then you've got your top light there it's got a little bit of an angle I tell you what this has really helped my putting game even though I still need to work on that a lot again there are a lot of things you can add to this bag and uh, I do have a sand wedge that I have I also have a, a 64 degree lob wedge you know uh, you can add to this bag there's plenty of room for you to add an extra two or three clubs there you have it guys the top flight XL 2020 beginners golf club set I hope that I have given you enough information for you to make a decision on yes this is right for me or no I'm gonna pass whichever you decide that's your choice I've had them for over maybe two months now I'll have to check back but I play golf once a week I try to go to the range once a week and play golf once a week so anyway guys that's it the top flight 2020 XL uh, golf set for beginners I hope this video helped you if you haven't subscribed to my channel please consider doing so Make sure you subscribe and then click that bell button. You'll find that I do videos on the things I love, which is mainly things outdoors like golfing, fishing, kayaking, shooting. If you're into that kind of stuff too, maybe you'll consider subscribing. I'd love to have you on board with Urban Outdoors. And as always, till next time, keep calm, carry on, and keep it outdoors.